Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a one sketch challenge at 23. It's a challenge hosted by Lisa. It's an open uh, collaboration and anyone can join in. So uh, there are lots of ladies actually joined in with this collaboration uh, in last month. So I'm going to list them all below the video so you can check out what are the crafters created with this uh, sketch. I'm going to include the photo of the sketch somewhere over here so you can check it out and if you want you can join uh, by using the hashtag one sketch challenge 23 i'm going to include all the information and the hashtag below the video and i will include the hashtag in the title as well so you can see it so as you can see i've got some elements prepared and because i recently worked with this collection by craft and new designs i don't know if you've seen my dl card uh, i thought because it's still on my desk i wanted to use this collection for the sketch challenge as well so that's the collection and i'm going to link the unboxing because i'm at uh, this year i'm on a design team for craft and new design and uh, i already received my dt pack and i'm going to get some new stuff very soon as well so um if you want to check out that brand i'm going to link uh, at the end of this video you will see a link to that dl card and my dt pack as well in this video i'm going to use this uh this one is film strip and i i think i will use this one definitely i'm going to use that um atc frame uh it looks like a postal stamp so it looks really nice so let me show you what i've got out i've got some elements from the previous project i'm not sure if i'm going to use it but i just keep it over here so you can see that as well so i'm using a square card with the top fold and this one measures five and three quarter of an inch i've got next layer in black which is five and a half inch so let me adhere it flat and i think i'm going to keep it fairly flat this time so i'm applying some glue and i'm adhering it flat to my base keeping the top fold So that's the first layer and then i've got this patent paper you can see the bow ties and on the reverse it's nice and brown it looks a bit like a fabric maybe but i'm going to keep the bow ties uh so you can see that one on my card i really like this paper i haven't used it yet so i think it would be nice to use this side of this paper looks really nice and cool i would try to link any online shops here in the uk uh, which are uh, uh, maybe have this paper pad in stock i'll try to search for it so if you like it you can get it as well so i'm going to use this one but what am i going to do i will do a uh, the same as I did with the tag in my previous video with the same collection. I'm going to cut it in half. So I will have a bit visible here and there because I'm going to have that banner across. So I can leave that space. So you can only see a bit. For this part, I'm going to use a 3D foam pad. So I'm applying a little bit of glue just to uh, raise this little bit ever so slightly. So it's not going to be completely flat. And it will give a little bit of the information. So let me bring my uh, tear ruler just to make sure that it's nice and straight because I cut that bead into two pieces. Let me see where do I want that. I think here should be fine. So I'm keeping that uh, tear uh, nice and straight in that position. I will try not to move it. And then I'm going to apply that other bit here at the bottom and then once i will use that banner you will not see that empty space here and it will look look at that it will look like it's like a continuation 
so let me uh, put that as you can see i need to add a little bit of foam pad i think i'm going to do it this way Oops, it's not too long so then once i going to uh, add that banner it will be raised and it's not going to collapse so let me do that first remove the backing paper adding a little bit of glue and now i can add a bit more glue here as well around it so let me know if you ever joined this collaboration have you ever made any projects uh, with lisa sketch because i know that uh that uh, i think about 10 of us i can't remember exactly because quite a few new people joined us and uh, i was thinking maybe uh, other people are using that hashtag i didn't check last month so i'm not sure but let me know because it's such a fun collaboration and a challenge especially when uh, you don't know what kind of style of a card you want to do sometimes some people struggle with layout how to layer your card how to create your card so i think those sketches are really useful for that and i think i'm going to add some foam pads under this bit as well and then i will see i think I, what i wanted to do i wanted to add those film strips maybe i should let me see and this time i can maybe offset it a little bit let's see I didn't remove the backing paper so I can still do like a dry run and see yeah I think I will uh, add those as well to give more interest and maybe I will add yes let me see so let me glue that first and what I'm going to do I will apply a little bit of glue on the bottom side of this film strip let me see where the cut line it's so nicely it's such a nice and uh, a uh, die cut love that one and i think i will be adding those film strips to so many different project projects and i do have um i think another two types as well smaller one and a bigger one so i will try to use that in my next videos if you don't know craft and you design uh then go over to the youtube channel because they've got a youtube channel and i did one tutorial on that channel as well so you can check it out so let me see this one is done and i think uh, let me see if i can add some more embellishments but i think that's fine that's enough because i just wanted to keep it quiet quite clean and simple so i think i'll add some novel drops here uh, let me see how might add them here one and another one yes i think that's it very simple cards to make and especially for masculine cards are sometimes difficult to make but i think with those papers that sketch and those embellishments i think it's a uh, pretty cool so let me know what do you think about this card and, and do you like it what do you think about the papers and uh, if you want to join our sketch challenge then um, uh, make sure that you share hashtag one sketch challenge 23 if you're not sure about uh, how to do it and uh uh, yeah i will try to include all the information and please go over to lisa and other ladies to check out what they've created with this month's uh, challenge so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye for now